Unveiling the Dark Side, 10 Shocking Facts About Rutherford B. Hayes Rutherford B. Hayes, the 19th President of the United States, is often remembered for his role in ending the Reconstruction era and restoring conservative Southern Democrats to power in the South. However, beneath the surface of his political achievements lies a series of shocking, scandalous, and outright disturbing facts that shed light on the darker aspects of his presidency and personal life. In this video, we delve into 10 of the most shocking facts about Rutherford B. Hayes that will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about this American president. Fact number 1. The Compromise of 1877. Rutherford B. Hayes became president under contentious circumstances, with the Compromise of 1877 marking a pivotal point in U.S. history. In the 1876 election, Hayes lost the popular vote to his opponent, Samuel J. Tilden. However, 20 electoral votes were in dispute due to allegations of voter fraud and intimidation in Florida, Louisiana, and South Carolina, all southern states with substantial African-American populations. To resolve the deadlock, a bipartisan commission was formed, ultimately awarding all 20 contested electoral votes to Hayes. In return for the Democrats' acquiescence, Republicans agreed to withdraw federal troops from the South, effectively ending Reconstruction. Critics argue that this compromise abandoned African Americans in the South to the mercies of white supremacist governments, laying the groundwork for the implementation of Jim Crow laws that enforced racial segregation and disenfranchised black voters for decades. Number 2. Patronage and Corruption Despite Hayes' commitment to civil service reform and reducing the corrupt practice of patronage, his administration was marred by instances of cronyism and corruption. Hayes' Secretary of War, William W. Belknap, became embroiled in a bribery scandal involving the illegal sale of trading posts at military forts. Belknap resigned in disgrace in 1876, just before the House of Representatives was set to vote on his impeachment. While Hayes was not directly implicated in the scandal, the incident highlighted the pervasive culture of corruption in Washington, challenging Hayes's image as a reformer and casting a shadow over his presidency. Number 3. Lack of support for women and minorities. During Hayes's presidency, there was a notable lack of progress in advancing the rights of women and minority groups. This can partly be attributed to the social and political climate of the time, which was not conducive to such reforms. However, from a modern perspective, Hayes's failure to take a strong stand on these issues is viewed critically. Women were still decades away from gaining the right to vote, and there was little to no recognition of the civil rights of minority populations. Hayes did not use his presidential platform to advocate for these marginalized groups, reflecting the prevailing conservative attitudes of the era but leaving a legacy that lacks in commitment to social justice and equality. Number 4. The Great Railroad Strike During the summer of 1877, the United States faced the Great Railroad Strike, a widespread protest by railroad workers against wage reductions and poor working conditions. President Rutherford B. Hayes decided to intervene by deploying federal troops to quell the strike, a choice that resulted in violent encounters and fatalities in cities such as Pittsburgh and Baltimore. This response from Hayes set a controversial precedent, as it demonstrated his readiness to use military force against civilian laborers, aligning the government's interests with those of big corporations over the working class. This episode remains a dark and contentious part of Hayes's legacy, shedding light on the complexities of labor relations and the government's role in industrial disputes. Number 5. Economic Policies Rutherford B. Hayes's presidency faced scrutiny for its economic policies, which some argue lacked the foresight to tackle the structural issues that contributed to the Panic of 1893. Hayes advocated for the resumption of specie payments, intending to stabilize the economy by backing U.S. currency with gold. However, this policy contracted the money supply, potentially worsening economic disparity. The Hayes administration also did not introduce substantial banking or financial reforms, leaving the economic system vulnerable. Though the Panic of 1893 unfolded after Hayes' term, economic historians suggest that his policies may have planted the seeds for this crisis, revealing a misjudgment of complex economic dynamics and a failure to enact preventative measures. Number 6. 
Support for the Gold Standard During his presidency, Rutherford B. Hayes was a staunch supporter of the gold standard, a monetary system in which the value of a country's currency is directly linked to a certain amount of gold. In 1878, he faced a significant challenge with the Bland-Ellison Act, which proposed to increase the money supply and promote inflation through the coinage of silver. Proponents argued that this would benefit farmers and small debtors, but Hayes believed it would devalue the currency and harm the economy. His decision to veto the Bland-Ellison Act was controversial and highlighted the deep economic divisions of the era. Although Congress overrode his veto, the episode reflected Hayes' commitment to sound money policies, even in the face of popular opposition. This decision had long-lasting impacts, contributing to the monetary debates that would dominate American politics for the next several decades. Number 7. Nepotism and Political Appointments Hayes's presidency was not immune to accusations of nepotism and favoritism in political appointments. Critics pointed to instances where personal loyalty appeared to outweigh competence and qualifications in the selection of officials. This perception of cronyism tainted his reputation and undermined his professed commitment to civil service reform and meritocracy. While Hayes did take some steps to reduce patronage and corruption, these instances of perceived favoritism cast a shadow over his efforts, contributing to a mixed legacy on issues of government integrity and transparency. Number 8. Handling of Native American Affairs Rutherford B. Hayes's administration perpetuated the 19th-century policy of forcibly assimilating Native Americans into European-American culture, often resulting in the loss of indigenous lands and traditions. Justified by a paternalistic belief in the superiority of European-American culture, this approach had devastating impacts on Native American communities. The administration played a role in implementing the Dawes Act in 1887, which aimed to dismantle tribal lands and allocate parcels to individual Native Americans in an effort to encourage agriculture and assimilation. However, this policy led to the loss of millions of acres of Native lands, further marginalizing indigenous peoples and leaving a legacy of injustice and dispossession that remains evident today. Number 9. Lack of Strong Foreign Policy Rutherford B. Hayes's presidency is frequently critiqued for not having a clear and impactful foreign policy. Critics highlight his inability to sufficiently protect American interests globally. While his administration did succeed in resolving fisheries disputes and border issues with Canada through the Treaty of Washington, these diplomatic achievements were overshadowed by criticisms related to Latin America. Hayes's policies were perceived as weak and ineffective, failing to safeguard American investments and influence in the region. The situation was exacerbated during the crisis in Mexico, under Porfirio Diaz's rule, where Hayes's lack of decisive action further underscored the perceived shortcomings of his foreign policy, leaving an impression of an administration lacking direction in its international relations. Number 10. Pardon of William Watts Falwell. The pardon of William Watts Falwell, a Confederate officer implicated in the Fort Pillow massacre during the Civil War, stands out as a highly controversial decision made by Hayes. Granting clemency to Falwell drew significant criticism, with many viewing it as a failure to uphold accountability for war crimes. This decision was made even more contentious considering the racial dynamics at play in the Fort Pillow massacre, where a predominantly African-American Union garrison suffered a brutal attack by Confederate forces. By pardoning Falwell, Hayes's commitment to justice and accountability, especially in cases involving crimes against African Americans, was brought into question.